What's up guys, it's Shani with Healing Elements. Welcome to my channel if you've never been here. And of course, to everyone, including my return viewers, sending you nothing but love and positive vibes to today and always. This video is the latest video within the series I'm putting out about spirit animals. So if you personally identify with any specific species of animal as your spirit animal, these videos will explain symbolic meaning, messages, and symbolism associated with that specific animal. Um, or if you have never been drawn to a specific animal as your spirit guide, perhaps try clicking on one that you're drawn to intuitively and see if any of the messages or meanings with this spirit animal pertain to you and you feel like that would be perhaps your spirit animal. So this video, guys, is all about the spirit animal porcupine, the porcupine spirit. And porcupine spirit animal people resonate with a life of unapologetic living, unapologetic to the 10th power. They are very, very free living, free spirit creatures and synonymous with the ability to have no guilt or no shame either projected onto them or in general just regarding anything that they have either fallen short of or been accused of or done you know in a poor or regrettable sense not that porcupine spirit animal energy is non-apologetic when it comes to something that they feel is worthy of an apology. Very much the opposite. However, as far as personal choices, as far as lifestyle, as far as partner preference, sexual, cultural, or otherwise, as far as race, you know, um, diversity and commingling and communicating with people, definitely porcupine spirit is indicative of somebody who does not bat an eye if you know their other friend or relative or somebody they you know consider to be family has a problem with you know their behavior in any way if it's a personal choice including maybe you know even drinking alcohol in excess or anything like that you know porcupine spirit animal owns everything they do and this confidence is a very, very, you know, delightful and I think admirable quality because being accountable for things and their choices with such conviction convinces other people in many cases that it is, you know, something for this person to be doing. So going back to Native American tribes, the porcupine is often a symbol of you know fierce warrior hunter and conquering battles defending with vengeance the war god god of war type of quality and they closely associated battles and their fiercest warriors that were battle tested and they would count on for you know coming battles they would associate this with the spirit animal of porcupine and they could, in ceremonies before any kind of upcoming battle, call on this spiritual energy, this spirit animal, porcupine um, energy and oracle through their ceremony. And they would ask for the porcupine to please intervene when they need any kind of favor before, during, or after the battle or regarding these uh, very battle-tested hard warriors. Also, uh, they would use the porcupine when they were wanting to ask spirit worlds and you know the gods um, for a big favor, whether or not that would be you know an extra abundance of crops or rain, they would turn to the porcupine spirit in sense as an intermediary between the realms and um, really had high faith and could count on the results. Uh, usually when they asked the porcupine in ceremonies in a sacred manner 
for a favor, it would come to fruition, according to legend and there are, you know, oral histories. So if you resonate with porcupine spirit animal energy, you may be innately drawn, even if you don't have any um, heritage or cultural ties with Native American or you know, South American, ancient Aztec or Incan uh, tribes, um, things like that call out to you. So I feel like if you resonate with porcupine spirit animal, you'll resonate with Native American tribal, you know, communal type of um, activities and ceremonies, drum circles, maybe something you've attended in this lifetime and or, you know, herbal, medicinal, ceremonial teas and things that are, you know, totems like dream catchers and things like that will call out to you throughout your life, uh, perhaps when you resonate with this uh, porcupine spirit. Also, you know, people who definitely find themselves, you know, um, drawn to the porcupine and its spirit are said to live very harmoniously with your natural surroundings. So able to really dig in and absorb yourself and be appreciative and say thanks to everything, even the old rickety chair that you still have that is missing, you know, wood in certain places. The porcupine spirit is able to recognize the harmony of still having something there in the first place, realizing the power of when something is gone, it is lost. So in this case, you know, they uh, always say for certain people or energies, you know, you never know what you have until it's gone. But the porcupine spirit animal realizes this and makes the most of things that they have in a harmonious sense around them and their environment and their natural surroundings. They make the most of it. So as to pay homage to that, they do know what they have and they do know that one day it will be gone. And also, you know, the porcupine animal spirit is really indicative of an innocence within a, you know, going back, a resetting constantly throughout your life, you know, to that childlike innocence that is only felt or you only see in children. You see that, you know, complete ability of children at the playground or otherwise to get lost in fantasy and for the moment truly believe that nothing on earth is wrong and innocence and you know unconditional love and forgiveness and having all of your needs met and taken care of you know this is really really embodying the porcupine spirit animals ability when people you know gravitate to the spirit animal you have the ability to find the absolute importance of tapping into that throughout your life and to reset and know that all is in the way in which you look at things. So if you switch your perspective and tell yourself enough times that you are in fact, you know, entitled to feel that childlike innocence of exuberance and experience, times of frolic and times of non-care and times of feeling as if you are taken care of by someone else, you know, this is your, again, your entitlement. You are, you know, in the know that this is something everyone should dip into, that childlike, innocent, you know, energy and feeling. And also, you definitely must be willing to open up throughout your life, your heart and your mind. This is something that would benefit you know, uh, your, your psyche as you heal and as you go through the new stages that are inevitably going to present some sort of challenge or, of course, in the opposite direction, some sort of celebration. So you have to be mindful to always remember things that gave you joy as a child. And again, step back into that childlike innocence, which you're great at doing, but also remember the opposite what made you feel joyless perhaps as a child or joyless within your life and within the life path steps you've taken so far and you know it's a beautiful thing because 
you are able, when you reflect about what makes you joyful, you're able to eliminate all that which make you feel the opposite and cut the cords to anything that makes you feel joyless and reclaim your life in that sense. You have a great imagination that, again, is that child on the playground fantasy land of, you know, elaborate imagination that seems so exciting and everyone that gets a part in this imaginary play, you know, this musical play that's being played out on the playground is excited to do that role and really immerses themselves. And for that moment, they are Peter Pan and Wendy in Neverland. You always have a knack of getting out of the extreme, you know, turmoil and chaos of life. For instance, you're the one taking the back roads and smelling the roses as you go and getting a little bite to eat, even if it takes longer, so to speak, rather than sit in the traffic that breeds that negative type energy of frustration and and chaos and angst and impatience. So you're definitely a problem solver as far as, you know, getting out of sticky situations of tumultuous, you know, um, run-ins or encounters, definitely one to duck out the back door, not in a cowardly way, but because you are one to understand that chaos is not beneficial in any way to anyone. So as much as you can avoid chaos, the porcupine spirit animal does. You also never have a problem throughout your life with greed. You're not a greedy or stingy person at all. You are very, very uh, giving and gracious in this way. You don't suffer from any kind of major fears or of, you know, phobias that affect a lot of people. You may have intimate fears, intimate phobias that are pretty sincere. Maybe you were a war vet or something like that. Um, or in a tragedy like September 11th, and you might have PTSD or feelings regarding that, but I'm talking about arachnophobia or fear of heights or, you know, fear of being alone. Generally, you know, the porcupine spirit meaning is you feel protected no matter what is going down and you are able to tap in to that protection, that childlike again, innocent feeling of being nurtured and being taken care of and knowing if you fall and get a boo-boo, you are going to be able to run to mom or dad or whatnot and have somebody fix it, that you know the outcome will always be that you will be all right. You have no, you know, inquiries as to what's going to happen next because you feel as if you have a safety net constantly around you. Also, you know, you innately trust in a lot of the powers that Mother Nature has over humankind and realize that the supremacy doesn't lie within, you know, the human physical vessel. It is within everything. You definitely always, always trust your own judgment other than other people. So even though you will be open to hearing other people's opinions, You never let people's views, you know, um, stray stray you away from what innately you and your own judgment want to do. You never ever let people gaslight or belittle you. Very quick to, again, find an escape out of the conflict, either by a quip comment to put somebody in place and really shock them and without profanity, but with a very direct you know, I feel like you're gaslighting me because you may have some problems within you, bro. That kind of energy embodies the porcupine spirit. So this means that you must take care not to be overly sensitive to, you know, all of these motions and, you know, defense um, mechanisms you have to just like the porcupine wear on the outside of your skin you know, these quills in order to, you know, escape chaos and don't uh, get stuck in the tar trap uh, pit of gaslighting or, you know, people projecting negativity 
onto you as your truth when you fully would rather, again, skip out the side door rather than listen to anything at all remotely close to a falsity for you. So when you feel drawn to the porcupine spirit, it is a feeling that you are able to overcome the outside noise with a stillness and evade any chaos by any means necessary that you find within your environment or the world, the world stage and things that are told to you. And you are very aware that there are evil people and evil presence that cannot be dealt with, but have to also be dealt with if we're talking about something that affects everybody. So do not let the existence of evil due to your protective nature and, you know, aggressive defense of everything that is not evil. Don't let that twist you and, you know, force you to take out that innate good quality within you. Don't get bitter or resentful <clears throat> over the fact that other people cannot be as kind and as, you know, pacifist oriented as you. So you definitely, when you resonate with this energy, um, you are somebody who should always take heed not to be too stubborn about accepting protection and don't be too stubborn to keep all of your cards on the table. You should display the cards like the porcupine displays the quills in order to let people know where your boundaries lie. Um, also, you may be faced with deceptive uh, situations, deceptive people throughout your life and a lot of hidden secrets because a lot of people will sense that you are such a kind innate soul that would rather evade conflict than you know, fuel the fire of conflict. So a lot of people hold information back from you. So tread carefully. Um, also, as you choose partners within your life, uh, many people wear masks and for such a delightful person uh, like you, it will be you know, indicative throughout your life that people will be drawn to you because of this gentle in touch with nature quality that you exhume as well. So in summary, guys, you just really embody a carefree, guiltless, shameless, I'm me, I'm doing me, and I am content with everything that I am, that kind of attitude. You never use, again, profanity or hurtful put downs or hurtful language when defending yourself. Again, you have quills and they are already equipped with truth and poison that you will immediately remind somebody of rather than making a, you know, wasted time period of energy back and forth, arguing back and forth over calling each other names or bringing up, you know, scenarios in the past. This is just not productive for you and you feel like getting directly into the core and also retreating after that um, quill is inserted with the truth serum, the truth poison. You are the first one to be willing to walk away. So when you feel drawn to the spirit animal, you are very sensitive and that means sensitive to criticism, but also sensitive to people who are being criticized around you, which makes you incredibly tender toward those people. And in addition, you definitely are able to affect others whole entire life by coming to their defense and showing compassion to their plight. So guys, that was all about the porcupine spirit animal. Blessings, love, and light.